Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to implement this library, this plugin of Godot of Play Game Service version 2. Okay, so with this library, we can get the friction list zero click sign in. Okay, so if the user has the gameplay service app installed, uh, the user will be automatically logged in and there is no prompt, something like that no prompt anything of that kind okay so let me show you some demo of that i have implemented that on one of my game uh, here it is okay so let me open that so as you can see in the top here here is the this uh, okay so hi test dvk that's my game profile with game play games so let's get it started so first thing first what we have to do is we have to set up play game services from play console okay so in the play console choose your application and if you scroll down on this play game services setup and management in the configuration create choose create a new play game services and create a new cloud project click here so I have already named I've already tried a lot so plot it plot it let's say two just just to recognize it okay okay plot it to create that once it's been created we can kind of switch it, switch to that particular one switch project so once this is done what we can do is uh, we can kind of click done here it will refresh this and we can choose this project from here okay sometime it will take some time so let's refresh it okay refresh it again it will take some time like uh, but it often happened within some mean within just a minute okay it won't take more than that but yeah it does take about a minute some time okay this one is it was just created okay so choose that one and click use okay now once that's done uh, these things have been completed so what we have to do is we have to create the consent screen uh, let's click it here uh, on the auth consent screen we have to create that uh, since we want to publish we'll publish this application to the user in public we'll choose the external one click the create one so what we have to do is you have to provide the name the email you have to select from the provide option okay so like the user the admin and this is the email the user will see and this is the user that google will contact you okay so you have to fill in those details for testing purposes we don't have to fill any uh, they are just just three just two to release we'll have to choose uh, logo and home page and we have to provide privacy policy and that privacy policy should be in Google search on, in the domain that has been verified and Google source console okay that's about the releasing one but yeah I'll resume the video once I'm, I got to the scope one okay now in this scope we have to add a remove scope click on that and choose uh, okay let's extend it up to 50 and simply choose this auth game light and this one okay just these two with uh, gameplay service b2 we have to choose this these two uh, if you have additional other other scopes uh, the auto login will fail okay so just simply these two and create click update okay next what we have to do is kind of provide the test users and you will be in the summary then once in the summary simply verify that and go back to the dashboard okay 
okay our application is in the testing phase okay so in this testing phase uh, those selected user will be can only authenticate with our application and once we are ready we have to publish it so to publish it we need the privacy policy and that also need to be in the verified domain in source console okay we'll talk about that later okay talking about the test user this is the user where we will test uh, the logged in account on the device that we will test okay so yeah well, we have completed this part as well so confirm configuration let's close that let's close this as well so we have to create credentials next to create credentials we'll I'll be asked to provide the uh, what's that package name so to package name simply for testing I'll use debug this one okay so in the credentials let's create add credentials mm, we have uh, we since we don't have what client we have to create that create what and create what client uh, and choose the type of android android uh, hello cloud debug yeah and the package name is this one and the fingerprint uh, to generate the fingerprint you have to use the debug key the the key store uh, okay so i have already generated it here so this is the key as as one simply copy and paste it here okay paste it here that's it and it may take five minutes to few hours for the setting to take effect okay yeah no worries for now simply create click okay okay talking about that key uh, when uh, we want to release the application we have to use the key from the provided by the Google by Google okay so so that uh, because the Google use a different key uh, let's say I sign using a different I sign the production one using a key a production key but uh, most of the time Google will handle that production key themselves uh, like to handle the, some scenario where the user forget their publishing key they will they can recover us okay something like that so in the in uh, release in the production you have to create another authentication with uh, this package and this one okay so the provided one but for the testing one we will use the debug key and debug package okay so that's done that's done Mm, okay refresh it and then let's choose the, this one and save and change okay so this one is done as well i think so review and publish yeah well but testing we don't have to do any kind of uh, publishing we can test but we have to add the test user here as well okay so i'll add my account in this test account as well so and i'll continue further okay okay i have added a user as well and now uh, with the uh, okay we have completed the configuration path uh, setting up a google play service we have to now set up our, our game okay so first thing first uh, let's go to this release page and download this zip file okay uh, it's and download somewhere here let's copy it in the plugin okay in uh in my repository there is this android okay just to get clear to get that android one what we have to do is install android build tool okay and yeah in the export to get these things you have to kind of edit and choose android okay mm, yeah again 
in Android in plugins let's paste that file let's extract here and delete archive and let's move these things a bit back okay let's delete this folder as well so we have placed these two files here okay we downloaded from the play from the release okay uh, this this is the basic release okay so the, this there is not much next thing we have to do is we have to kind of add these to the xml file the xml file is on android build and here it is so simply add that within the application so here it's inside application so that's it and next thing we have to do is we have to kind of save this on the strings.xml that is also within the race values strings okay so and we have to replace this as with the project id okay the project id is in here here is it copy paste it here where? Where, 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 where I think here yeah. paste it here okay that's this that's that's the configuration part I've done it okay now just just to verify it okay so once we add this application in that plugin directory we can you can see this on the plugin one okay so simply check it so that that plugin will be used whenever we run our application close it okay another thing i just forget so to use any plugin we have to use the custom build okay yeah you tick mark on the custom build as well you know once you if not you'll get that error next thing is to interact with our library this this plugin uh, we need to use some gd script as well so here's this simple gd script uh, play game services so I have already copied it here so it's in play game service so currently what we have done is let's ignore this one as well let's comment it comment. we don't have to comment anything more than that so what's it's currently doing it uh, we it check whether this singleton for this particular name exists if it exists it print the message save the singleton in this particular private variable and connect these signals and it will call this function okay so yeah we'll call the function and the function will emit this signal back okay that's how it's been configured and to load this file we have to set it on the auto load project auto load choose the file from play service and let's make the s capital add it close it okay let's save it now if we try to run this project let's turn my phone on and if i try to run this project i should see that message that's the plugin is found the go dot plugin is done okay remember my choice and install let's do that uh, okay as you can see okay have we initialized it as well I don't think so. Uh, go to play game services. This is found and the play game raised to Android. This is also being called. Okay, as you can see, uh, whenever we load the library, I'm not sure if the function should have been called already. Okay, let's run it again. And uh, okay, we we have already cleared it. Okay so now we can call this function to initialize it okay and 
whenever we call this it will trigger whether the auto login is succeed or failed okay so we have attached this one as well so we will get this this message back let's click it okay auto login succeed we get that message and we get that information about google play service as well right so just to check that confirm another unplay information okay just uh, just to verify that we'll get uh, um, more information once the user is logged in successfully so let's attach this signal and what is that call back call back and play information okay something like that okay and this no search function give up play we don't have this history here as well and these are some store related information we don't hear oh, we don't get this as well I don't get this as well. So what I like to simply get is print print this user profile. Okay, that's the information that we got. Print user profile. Okay. If it's not readable, simply print the display. Name. Okay. Now that's I don't know what the email was okay so let's see uh, remove that so whenever we initialize uh, what it does it uh, it will auto check whether the login is succeed or not succeed or fail if it succeed uh, it will trigger on sign in success and it will trigger this on profile information as well okay also there is another function uh, something like request for uh, we can check it here get profile we can call this particular function to get the profile as well okay now let's just run it okay i think it's you is this auto login that's that's what uh, i want to achieve but i wasn't so sure that we'll get that with without this but yeah and here is the information from google google play service okay so we get display name uh, the id and the image okay so that's what we got title table top. i'm not sure what this title is but yeah yeah that's how we implement google play service version 2 in our application and to implement other re leaderboard and achievement leaderboard and pass events here are all these functions available uh, there are not much just this few uh, few step to get the authentication to a rebuild set step to or unlock the achievement to show the achievement okay yeah i can show you on and the project okay something like in the current board we have used this same library and we can kind of view leaderboard here so it will show something like this okay and we, we can view the achievement as well okay yeah that that that's how we implement the library i think you'll get the overall idea how to use that library and if you have any questions and if you want to add an, uh, other necessary apis to this library let us know uh, we'll add that okay thank you bye bye